gathering in general, they sit on one of two sides. Um, they either sit on the infrastructure side, where I'll say, okay, we've got a domain, pull the DNS, IP, net blocks, NS, um, you know, go backwards, get other DNS names, more domains, and start again and do a whole kind of a footprinting exercise. And on the other side, we find uh, individuals who are only interested in people. So they'll, be, they'll do things like, okay, we've got an email address, let's see where it comes up on search engines. Uh, let's look at social networks. Let's have a look at Facebook and Bebo and Flickr. Um, you know, let's try and get sort of information around those and uh, try link it up. And a lot of the time, these two things actually mesh up uh, together. So you'll see in the example I'm going to do, I'm going to do a footprint on Pitoba and I'm going to look at the people as well. And you'll be able to see that you can start quickly linking other domains uh, to your target and that may, you know, provide some extra insight. So the first thing I'm going to do is just open the client again. Uh, just wait for it to start up and then I'm going to use the shortcut start a new graph remember control T will start a new graph so there's control T as my graph starting up whole thing kind of comes to life okay and then we're going to start on this so the first thing I want to do is I want to drag a domain on um, perturbo.com that is actually the domain I want in this case so that's lucky I'm going to move my slide up to 255 because uh, that's kind of the results set I'm looking for and like we did previously I'm going to run an entire set of trial forms. So in this case I'm going to run all the DNS trial forms and they're going to start popping out with various different things. These are NS, MX, brute force, so transfer, things like this. Um, so now I've got a whole bunch of these. I'm just going to start deleting the ones I don't want. So I don't want anything that says Linode and I don't want anything that says Google. So I've selected them, press delete, enter, there we go. Uh, so for Google, I'm actually going to use the flying function. So if I click on the graph and press Control F, now I can say Google.com. I'm going to say find it. You can select a specific type, but in this case, I want anything. So from NS to DNS to websites. Click on find, highlight them all, um, and then I'm just going to press delete. Get rid of those. Have a look at the others. Okay, so these. Uh, there's another Google. Just delete that, um, and. So now from a footprinting point of view, I've got a whole bunch of DNS names, I'm going to select them all, and I'm going to take all of these to IP address. So this is similar to what we did before. I run the entire set, I'm going to get a whole bunch of my IP addresses. Okay, so now one of the other things that you can do, of course, is once you have a domain, so you can search for email addresses. So you'll see that we've actually already created a set, uh, email addresses from domain. You'll see it looks at the who's information for the domain, uh, looks at PGP to see if there's any you know, email addresses of that domain, and of course uses a search engine. Um, so I'm going to run this entire set, try to get a bunch of uh, email addresses out for it. So now I'm kind of looking at the two aspects of it. So I'll see here some, some email addresses, Ruloff, Ruloff Um So, you know, that's someone who could be of interest to me. So now I've got the IP addresses going back to the infrastructure side now. I'm going to select them all. So here I've selected all of these. and. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, well, I want to find um, DNS names for these IP addresses. Remember, I'm trying to link these up to other domains and possible other points that I can get into. Um, so I'm going to run the two trial forms here. One is standard reverse DNS, and the other one uses uh, RobTex and ServiceNet to look at other DNS names for this specific, specific IP address. So I'm going to run that set now, and it's going to look all of these up. And We'll be back shortly. There we go. Now we've got a whole bunch. So I'm going to have a look at these, uh, see what kind of results I get, see they're still running. So here I've got uh, some Perturbo ones, not really interested in those because I already have that domain. Linode, I know Linode's a host, so not interested in these either. Uh, these ones, don't really care about. This one could be interesting, because um, obviously it's an EC2 instance, but in this case I'm looking for other domains, I don't really want to get into that. 
Now this set is quite nice, so this looks promising, um, apart from the one obviously being uh, Google Host Services, so this is most likely mail, so I'm just going to delete these as well. And then the last set, the last set is more interesting, because now I can see a whole bunch of different things. Um, so what I'm going to do is obviously I'm going to get back, being an infrastructure person, I'm going to get back to domains, I'm going to start this whole process again, and see if I can find anything that's maybe configured differently, uh, or doesn't match a pattern, so that I know where to attack or defend. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say, okay, I want to take these two domain, um, you know, because I need to make sure they've got an NS and everything else. Okay, and I'll see here there's three domains that come out. Andrew Moore, Punks, and Linode. There's obviously Linode, don't care about again. So now I've got these new domains. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this back to people now. Um, instead of continuing the footprint, which I could do, I'm going to say, okay, well, I'm interested in, you know, I think these two domains link together, so now I want to find people. And one of the things that we know about online identities is, well, actually, they're just email addresses. Your email address unlocks everything pretty much in your digital life, from, um, you know, social networks to uh, just your mailbox. Um, you know, password resets give you access to everything. So, actually, that is your social um, identity, in our opinion. So, I'm going to try to find some email addresses for these domains um, and see what I've got here. Okay, so there's a whole bunch for this domain and nothing for this one. Okay, so this could be interesting because this is Andrew, it's actually me. And um, remember, I've got the original ones from Perturba as well. So, now I'm trying to link these two domains up. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, we'll take all my email addresses. So, I've selected those. Hold down shift, and I'm going to select these. And now I'm going to use some transforms that someone else has built. Um, it's from a company called Packet Ninjas, um, and they've built a transform set called SocialNet. Uh, you can just look at the website here. It's packetninjas.net slash socialnet. Uh, they basically allow us to do things like look up email addresses on social networks. So now I've selected these. I can right click, I can say run transforms. And now you see I've got all of these things, looking at Amazon, Bebo, Facebook, Flickr, and there's one transform that says all social networks. So this is the one I'm interested in. Uh, I accept, and I say run. And now you'll see, I'm, you know, these are all gonna, gonna start trying to resolve the social network. So, you know, give me, okay, is there a Facebook uh, affiliation? Is there a MySpace affiliation? And there I can see that there is already a Bebo affiliation. Um, and there's MySpace, Facebook, you can see this is probably a primary email address. Um, and at the ones at the top here, you can see that there's two linking into a Facebook uh, thing for, for rid of Tim. Okay, so Facebook is you know my primary example in this case, um, because I know that the targets that I'm looking at will be using Facebook based on their location and you know the probability of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, well I'm going to link these two people, but I don't want to get it messy on this graph. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to say copy to new graph without links. So now I've got Rulof Timming and Andrew McPherson. Okay, so obviously if I just Google these names I'll be able to make the link quickly. But if I didn't have these pages, uh, what I could do is I could say, okay, well, let's start looking at them on social networks. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to run the get friends. So I want to see, okay, well, do these two cross link, you know, are they friends of each other? Because that's a, a great way to say, okay, well, here we go, these two are directly linked. Um, and that's just going to try to do that. And you'll see there's a whole bunch of friends for Andrew. That's me. And I'm just waiting for the other one to come back. And there's a whole bunch of friends. And now you'll see that, okay, if I select these two, um, you'll see that they're actually directly linked. So if I click on one and go to the detail view, I can see that there's an incoming connection from Andrew. And when I click on Andrew, I can see there's an incoming connection from Ruth. So these are cross-linking to each other. So of course now if I was interested in say social engineering these two, uh, because I know the company that they work at, I want to find actually what friends they have in common. Uh, because these will be people that if I can influence these people, I know they can speak to both of these targets at mind. Um, so you'll see in mining view it's a bit complicated to look at now because I can't see directly. I can see these two are kind of linked. Uh, there's some on the other side maybe. Uh, there's some down there. So it's a little difficult to use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the layout. So that's our our default block layout, I can switch it into hierarchical, and you'll see that they obviously start at the top and then there's some linked ones. Also not that great for this. Circular mode, not the best for this, um, although it is nice that you can quickly identify them in the middle, but my favorite is organic mode. So if I switch to organic mode, 
I can quickly see here that, okay, well, the cross-linked ones are, are pretty easy because they're straight in the middle. Right? These are the ones that are linked between both of them. So now I've provided a way that, not only if I look at my first graph, that Pertobe.com and Punks.tz.tz are linked, but the two individuals that I've found from these are also linked. And they're linked by these, these specific people on Facebook. So I think that, that kind of illustrates nicely how you can link up your infrastructure to your people and you know what sort of the threats that you can look out for.